So we're located in northern Tassie, um, just outside of Deloraine, which is a beautiful little country town that we've been fortunate enough to grow up in. I uh, feel very lucky to be here, um, northern Tassie, just a beautiful, beautiful part of the world. We're under the mountains here, we get the snow, we're not far from Cradle Mountain, so we feel very lucky to be exactly where we are. Beautiful soils and beautiful farming country as well. So mum and dad started up here, you know, I think things started a long time before we actually started producing truffles. There was a lot in the pipeline, even 10 years before that, getting things underway. Um, dad having these crazy ideas and mum having to sort of support him through that and try and you know nurture this crazy idea and everyone was saying he was stupid and it was never going to happen so there's a lot of time um, invested in in that whole process as well sort of I think dad getting the courage to to take the step and mum you know being there every step of the way to nurture and support him so it's been a big 30 years um, you could say to get to the point where we are now and it's uh yeah it's been so exciting to to grow up with I guess as well basically the the process of I guess harvesting and growing truffles is pretty extensive so from inoculating the tree um, getting that in the ground you're looking at five to ten years until it will start to produce truffles during that time there's a lot of things that have to be you know kept really perfect with the conditions the pH of the soil the water the sunlight there's a lot of things to consider um, so you're really nurturing something during that time it's not really a set and forget uh, and then from that process as well you get these truffles out of the ground um, you've got ten days really a ten day shelf life so what are you going to do with it where's it going to go it's got, you've got to have all that sort of stuff in the pipeline to, to have that ready to go. It's, it's great to grow them, but what are you going to do with them? That's a whole other step. So initially we were just set up to be a farm. Uh, we were doing international export and that was the only real way. It wasn't until we sort of had a few um, chefing students actually approach us. They were really interested to see where the produce came from and, and what we do with it. Uh, and so it wasn't until we had those guys come to the farm that we were like, Maybe some people are actually interested to see how we do things here and it wasn't until that sort of was brought to our attention by, by outsiders that we realised that maybe there's an opportunity here that people actually want to know what we do and how we do it. So growing up on a truffle farm, I've been around the farming industry since I was you know, three. I've been cooking and eating with truffles since I was six. So I've been very lucky um, to have this continual exposure to them. And I guess going out as a young kid and being with dad um, and hunting under the trees and looking for this buried treasure, I've learnt so much that I didn't even realise I was learning. And it wasn't until I was probably 15 or 16 and I was like, I actually really know a lot um, and that was just from being being here and being on the ground and watching and learning and soaking it all in so I feel very privileged to have been able to, to do that and grow like that. I think as well um, being on the ground and I was really running the whole operation here with our international export when I had uh, chefing students come, come on board and sort of want to see how I did things and I think uh, being on the ground and seeing that and their interest really um, inspired me a little bit to be like oh actually this is pretty cool like maybe I could get something out of, out of sharing this with everyone and actually turn this into a thing. So I think that's where the, the idea initially started and we've sort of been brewing on that ever since. So agritourism, I think, is just going gangbusters in, in Tasmania and as it should, it's, you know, we've got beautiful farms around here, very unique stories as well and often generational farms which hold, you know, really special secrets as well, which I think is just amazing thing about Tassie. Um, in terms of like having that on the ground experience um, for employability, I just think that's invaluable. Um, I've been to university and studied dietetics um, for five years and I can tell you that, that my last year running around the hospital on the ground trying to take everything in being a, a student on the ward was the year that I learnt everything and the most and that's what I got the absolute most out of as the other four years aside so I think that can be taken to farming as well I think just having that real hands-on experience that practical experience I can't teach someone how to grate a truffle via zoom or via skype or write it in a book I actually have to be here someone needs to sniff it I need to show it and it's that repeated exposure that will get them you know to understanding that and, and understanding the different factors that make a good truffle good um, so I think yeah for us especially for people that we want to employ, having someone that's here learning on the ground is invaluable over any sort of ticket or piece of paper, I guess, um, qualification wise. It's just if someone can be here, be personable, um, have all those great attributes, dealing with people, um, often being able to use common sense and practical skills on the go because we're on a farm, we're dealing with mother nature, we're out in the environment, things don't go to plan. So it's just being able to adapt um, and, and put our customers first, I guess, um, and making sure that we're, yeah, putting a good front forward. I think with the, the agricultural industry growing so much in Tasmania that it's absolutely paramount that there's the, the education pathway there for people to get educated into the agritourism because you know it's something that I don't think there's no sort of uh, there's no university degree for that and every farm's so different so it's just sort of about getting getting into that niche and sort of fully understanding it immersing yourself in it being on the ground um, to, to carry forward with that so I think that's absolutely paramount.